A question I often receive is, how can I start my African violet leaves in water? My answer is always, I'm so sorry, I don't know how, I've never done it. So today, I have decided to try it and try to show you at the same time how to do it. And then we will follow the transformation as it goes along. Today we are going to be working with Allison's Laughter. I have two plants, so we have many leaves we can work with. We're going to plant multiple leaves in case we lose some. Okay, so I had to actually go online to try to find some information on how to do this because I have never done it. And this is what I found. You use something that's transparent so you can see what's going on. And they put plastic saran wrap over it. And then they poked some holes to put the stems in. And we're going to put a few in here. And there you go. That's it. We're going to add water in the leaves and that should be fine. And I made another little concoction here. I just drilled some holes in the cover and we're going to try some in there too because I want to see what happens. For this experiment, I'm going to plant three leaves in this container in the water, three in this one in the water, and in this one I'm going to plant four leaves. Two will be planted very deep in the soil to, and two will be planted very close to the top of the soil and we will be able to compare who comes out first. So as I was doing the research, um, I found that everybody that did samples of these simply left this, the stems very long and they simply put them in the water uh, like this. So we're going to follow the instructions and do it like they did. Okay, I guess they flop around like that. And we will do the same for the little bags. There's one, whoops, not the bags, I'm sorry, the saran wrap. There's two, and there's three. I'm going to, I'm going to have to do something, I guess, to keep those from flopping over. <laughs> so far, it's not super well. And I'm going to plant, oops, I forgot, I have one left. I made a mistake in my counting. We need four leaves here because I want to do that last test. And one more. There you go. All the leaves are in similar at the similar size and similar um, age. And we will be so we will be cutting two of these very short for the test and these two will be planted very let me get a little bit shorter on this one there these will be planted near the soil line because that's going to be our test and this one too oh got a little mutton there and there you go. So these are very near from the soil line. They should come up quicker. And the two other ones, I'm going to cut them about an inch or so like this. However, I will plant them much deeper. I'm going to plant them uh, downwards. And there you go. Okay, I couldn't figure out anything but I found something at work so it's just a little piece of tape and I put it behind the leaf whoops like that I don't know if you can see that in the camera <laughs> I don't know what to do to keep these up so the tape is not really um, stuck on the leaf I just put it just in the just in the back it's stuck on the, the saran wrap but the leaf is kind of just leaning on it like that and it seems to be working so I'll just do the other one and be right back 
Okay, so I finished uh, putting the little pieces of tape in the back. It's working so-so, but it should be okay for the experiment. Now, what we're going to do is in this container, I'm going to water with some fertilizer. Because we can see the difference there too, and I didn't poke out holes very... Let me take one out while the fertilizer goes in and... <laughs> I'll put that back in once the water's through. In this one, I'm going to, sorry about that, I'm going to water, let me go on the other side. I'm going to water with plain water, no fertilizer, so we can see the difference. My hole is too small, let me get that. I'm not very good at this. I don't know why people want to do this, but you, you will be able to see the roots growing, so that's kind of neat. Okay. There, that should do it. And the fertilizer. Whoops, sorry about that. I'm knocking you around. And let's get that in there. Why are you not going through? Because the tape is blocking the hole. It's not very smart. Oh my god. See when I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, it's going through. Come on. This is not the smartest way to work. Hang on with me. I'm doing the best I can. Okay. You know what? We're just going to remove it. <laughs> and fill it up the old-fashioned way. Yeah, I know that's a lot of fertilizer. I know I put a little bit too much in, but it's okay because we're doing a test. And whatever, it doesn't matter. And I'm just going to fix my little third one up so everything is in the water i'm sorry i'm going to go like this I'm trying to not make the water come out and we have this one i took some of the uh, saran wrap off because we are going to want to see the roots let me set these on the shelf and i will give you a better picture of it in just a sec Okay, so the test begins now. I have put the date on the plant in the soil. And we will be able to see what happens underneath the water. And I think everything should be fine. And I forgot to mention for, uh, so this one got fertilizer, this one nothing. And this one will simply be watered a little bit with water. And I will check on these daily and once I see something happening I will be back and update you as we go along we'll see what happens see you next time